Okay, I'm going to break down for you a couple key things of knowledge that I look for when I'm listening to a person, one of these individuals who claims to be a prophet. One of the things that we can look for is most of these alleged prophets, these false prophets, are narcissists. They follow and fit into all the symptoms of narcissistic personality disorder. But that is also something that is described in the Bible in this proverb right here. I want to share with you. This is what I'm looking for. It says there are six things. This is Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. Look for these six things in an individual to tell you whether this person is actually a legitimate Christian or legitimate prophet or legitimate man or woman of God. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19 says there are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. One, haughty eyes. Two, a lying tongue. Three, hands that shed innocent blood or they harm innocent people. They bring accusations against the innocent. Four, a heart that devises wicked schemes. Five, feet that are quick to rush into evil. Quickly going in on darkness. Quickly engaging in lying, scheming, manipulating, deceptive behavior. They're quick. They're quick to hop on the bandwagon of the evil. Six, a false witness who pours out lies. Now, we've seen lying is also number two, a lying tongue, but they bear false witness against the legitimate and the authentic, and a false prophet often affirms other false prophets, which is, again, a lying tongue, claiming that the inauthentic and the detestable and the wicked and the manipulative and the deceptive is actually the authentic. And finally, what they always do, a person who stirs up conflict in the community. Now let's look at what the symptoms of narcissistic personality disorder are according to the DSM-5. Diagnostic criteria. We find that narcissists follow a per pervasive pattern of grandiosity in fantasy or behavior. Look up here at the upper right hand corner. Oop, up here. A pervasive pattern of grandiosity in fantasy or behavior, okay, they have fantasiful, fantasiful um, thoughts and behave in fanciful ways. They need they need for admiration, a lack of empathy, beginning by early adulthood and present in a variety of contexts, as indicated by five or more of the following. These nine criteria, if a person meets five of these nine criteria pervasively. This is just who they are. It's not something that happens. Every one of these can be, can happen infrequently in a healthy person, but in a person with narcissistic personality disorder. And again, even if it's not a diagnosis, if they fit on the high end, end spectrum of narcissism, okay, they're probably a false prophet. One has a grandiose sense of self-importance, e.g. exaggerates achievements and talents, expects to be recognized as superior without commensurate achievements. That's what all these false prophets, they've never been educated. They won't set under anybody. They don't have any authority. They don't have any licensing. They're just YouTube social media prophets who claim <laughs> that would be a pretty high and grandiose title for a person without any type of biblical knowledge to claim to have. And they're also speaking mostly from their dreams, their delusions, and their imaginations. Two, they're preoccupied with fantasies of unlimited success, power, brilliance, beauty, or ideal love. Number three, let me expand that a little bit. They believe that he or she is special and unique and can only be understood by or associate with other special or high status people or institutions. A sense the person that says the real ones recognize me, Marcus Rogers. Um, Marcus Rogers says that all the time. The real ones recognize real. No, actually, those who are also faking it recognize the fake. They recognize someone who's arrogant and haughty, someone who lies on God, someone who 
who claims false Trump prophecies and speaks from their dreams and delusions of superior grandeur. They believe that they're special and unique. They can only be understood by or associate with other special high value people or institutions. They affirm one another. Now, Camille Hedrick is always, she's affirming Marcus Rogers. I saw where she affirmed, she affirmed that Perry uh, Stone, she affirmed Perry Stone who got stoned out of his church and lost his, his ministry because he was a sexual predator. And she, and he's also a lying prophet. Four requires excessive admiration. They have, they can't stand anyone who brings the correction against them or points out their error in doctrine. They speak against the holy and righteous ones, the real ones, and they claim to be authentic and genuine. And they are the false. Five, has a sense of entitlement, unreasonable expectations of especially favorable treatment or automatic compliance with his or her expectations. If you don't agree with me, even though I'm wrong, you're a Pharisee. Six, is interpersonally exploitive, takes advantage of others to achieve his or her own ends. These people are all exploiting you. Camille Hedrick, uh, her husband. Marcus Rogers, uh, Jalen Wilson, Jalen and Ashley Wilson. These people are exploitive. These people are robbing people who have no spiritual sense. Seven, lacks empathy and is unwilling to recognize or identify with the feelings and needs of others. Eight, is often envious of others or believes that others are envious of him or her. Who's going to envy a person who's on their way to destruction. Not me. I don't want what y'all got. I don't want to do what y'all do. I don't want to lie. Shows arrogant, haughty behavior or attitudes. Arrogance and haughtiness. You don't get it because you don't have the spirit. And if, while in fact they don't even have the spirit of truth, they operate in lies. So there you have it, folks. You stack up Hebrew or, or Proverbs 6, 16 through 19, along with the description of a narcissist, you have a mirror image of what a false prophet is. And let this be, and many other scriptures that identify and help you discern between the fake and the authentic, between the genuine and the real. Just remember what the power of the Holy Spirit is. Jesus said, I have much more to tell you, more than you can now bear. But when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will lead you into all truth. These people do not lead people into truth. 